Welcome to Conversations with the Authors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Conversations with the Authors. I'm your host, Daniel. I'm Daryl. I'm Sandra. And today we're doing, uh, you know, our voice is your voice, and today we're doing uh, Conversations with the Superfans, part two. And on the phone, we've got uh, Ernie Page. Hello, Ernie. How are you? Yes. Hi. Uh, hi, Drew. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Kind of nervous. Actually, this is my first time, but yeah, I, I'm so excited. Well, I, I definitely want to thank you for joining in on the conversation, and I want to thank Alexander Nakarada for creating the intro music to this podcast. If you haven't heard it, you should hear it because it's amazing. And ladies and gentlemen, it was a dark and stormy night. Uh, the only difference between today and that is that it's not dark, but it is storming. Yeah, so if you hear big booms, you hear a lot of rain, it's okay. It's just uh, it's just part of the ambiance. So we, we, you hear we get, we've bleep. got the lightning and the rain and the thunder, but uh, if you go to our website, you'll see that too. Yeah. And if you hear a lot of little bleeps, it's the weather <laughs> notifications coming up on the on the on the equipment because if we turn down the volume on on the weather warnings then we turn off the equipment well anyway hello uh hello again ernie and uh, how are you today yes i'm good um kind of busy today it's it's a long day and yeah i'm i'm so excited to do this podcast actually and to talk with you guys about the you know the the progress of the how nicholas became santa claus and I really like the book. Oh, and how are you? Well, we're, so we're let me d- ask the question as well. Yeah, I'm doing well actually. Thank you. I'm uh, as always. I'm sitting here with uh, mom and dad, who uh, uh, Sandra Jo Troop and Daryl R Troop Senior, who, as you know, are the authors of How Nicholas Became Santa Claus. This amazing, yeah. award-nominated sci-fi fantasy novel. Uh, that you can pick up any time and, and explore, uh, and which which I understand that you have done, Ernie. So uh, how's your experience with that? How did you uh, first come across the book? Well, actually, um, you know, we, 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 had a con- we had a conference last year mm-hmm. uh, during American Library Association mm-hmm. that, you know, la- last, I think that was two weeks ago. Yes, yeah. Sandra and Daryl joined the American Library Association in Chicago, Illinois, at McCormick Place. And uh, last year it was at uh, Washington, D.C. Yes, can you and, can uh, you believe that was 50,000 people? Can you believe that? That's amazing. Yeah. And also, it was a blast. Um, I, I hope you, you enjoyed the, the, the conference. The book signing. Oh, oh yeah. it was wonderful. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, yeah. it, it was so great to see the fans interacting with Sandra and Daryl mm-hmm. uh, at the stand as they signed. I mean, the lines never stopped. Yeah. And, and we sort of we did a live stream from the uh, the uh, conference, and we got you know 578 viewers, I think, chimed in yeah, we, uh, we collectively, to, and uh, we were able to sign a couple of scores of books. Yeah, it, it, was, it was a lot of great fun. It was great fun. Yeah, and actually, th- th- that's the reason why. Uh, you, you, to answer that question of yours, we came across with how Nicholas became Santa Claus during last year's event, mm-hmm. uh, American Library Association at Washington D.C. And uh, we read, you know, we have in-house book reviewers. Mm-hmm. We've read the book, and we really like the storyline, the content of the book, and there's a potential for it to be acquired by first by a traditional or mainstream publishing company, and second there's a potential for the book to be adapted into a movie. That is why our company, I called first Sandra, mm-hmm. and just, you know, Daryl is kind of always busy, is always right. in the clinic. <laughs> yeah. <And>, uh, <laughs> so uh, we had a few conversations with Sandra, and, uh, you know, luckily I was able to have a conversation with Daryl as well. So that is why I offered them the sponsorship program to republish the book and endorse the book to the traditional publishing companies. And then... We had an agreement. We signed a contract, and now it's we're, we're you know we're still we're still long. We're still on the process. Yes, 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 yes. We very much so. Have well, progress. We already have progress. <laughs> well, That's I, the most important thing. Well, I tell you, you made a you made a big impression on Sandra because uh, she's told me about other places uh, that have called her before. And I kind of blew them off, but uh, you made a you made a good impression. So I listened. So. Uh, we were all in accord when we decided that uh, we were going to talk with you. You can't, you can't imagine. Well, it's so special to hear that. 
you can't imagine, Ernie, as an author, n how disheartening it feels when somebody calls you wanting to sell your book and you ask them, well, what part of the book do you like the most? And they've never read it. Well, you know, and it, then you say, well, has anybody else in your company read it? No. Yeah, but the thing about it is that it's, it's when they blow a little bit of smoke up the chimney and say, oh, you got a great book. And you said, have you read it? And they said, no. Let's say, I'm not interested then. <laughs> yeah. So you, you, guys, well, you guys won my heart when oh, I... I asked you if, you if you had read it, and you said, well, I hadn't, but there are five people in my company that have already read the book. Uh, but, I, but I do understand that you are reading the book now. You are in the process of, of, of and, and for, of what you've read yeah. so far, how are you liking the book? Well, it's kind of, it's like reading a Bible. Uh-huh. You don't want to put, like, if, you don't, if, you're, if, if you're not focused reading the, the Bible... And how Nicholas became Santa Claus, you cannot understand the storyline of like the the, the, the book. Uh -huh. So the purpose. So it's uh, I'm I'm still in the process, uh -huh. but uh, I'm doing good uh, because of my you know I'm I'm working full time. Absolutely, and I'm working yeah. like a very full time at home as well with my two daughters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I mean, know yeah. how that goes. I, I was <laughs> I've got I've got a lady at you know, work uh, that she's she's reading the book. One of my nurses. And I asked her how far she's gotten. She said she loves the book, but she said her husband took it from her yeah. and he started reading it. And she said, I just need to get my book back. You know, although she's uh, plotting along in it, you know, she, she can't keep it in her hands because either he or her kids have got it. <laughs> you know, and you're right. Um, you know, well, she needs the ordered book. <laughs> and you're right. Reading, the book. reading Nicholas is sort of like reading the Bible in that we, we call the Bible the good book. And Nicholas is also a good book. And if you want to read it, if you're going to read it, you want to give it your attention because it deserves the attention because it has such um, an imaginative storyline. It really draws you and pulls you and holds you there. And just like the good book, you want to stay there and sort of absorb all that you can with it. Uh, and so, and it, too, is an origin so, story. So... so uh, readers, uh, listeners, if you if you haven't guessed by now, Ernie is the uh, wonderful agent that uh, Daryl and Sandra gave rave reviews to a few a couple podcasts ago, and uh, so Ernie, uh, my my question is this: uh, What is the difference between uh, your publishing your style of uh, publishing company and uh, other publishers? Yes, perfect. That's very uh, you know like hard topic if you're talking about publishing because it involves sometimes uh involves money it involves mm -hmm. the rights of the authors mm -hmm. but yeah uh let me let me answer that question by defining what's the difference between self-publishing and uh traditional publishing before i go deep, deep that, that's exactly what i'm, I'm hoping, hoping to answer company. actually yes yeah so, uh, yeah, the difference between self-publishing and uh, traditional publishing is uh, the degree of uh, control the author has uh, over the publishing process. Uh, to make it simple, if the author owns the rights and royalties, then the book is uh, self-published. If the publishing company owns the rights and royalties, then the book is traditionally published. That is it. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there's advantage if you want to be a traditional published author. There would be no upfront cost. In fact, you will receive an upfront royalty payment mm -hmm. if you will be acquired depending on uh, your portfolio as an author because it's like buying a successful business, like buying a, a franchise mm -hmm. and possibly sell more copies of your books because they do have partner bookstores and they also have brick-and-mortar stores. Mm -hmm. And lastly... The publishing process is all done for you, like they will be the one to do everything on your behalf. Well, on our case, um, what sets us apart is first, if we do like the book, we you know we we you know do proper filtering of manuscript before we're going to endorse them to mainstream publishing company because our business model, our scheme, is commission based. Mm -hmm. So we don't ask upfront payment. Mm -hmm. Unlike other publishing companies or self-publishing companies, they do ask for a publishing package. 
Like, mm-hmm. you need to pay this 3000 5000 10000 for you to publish your book. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, with us, we don't ask that. In fact, we'll be the one to sponsor. By sponsoring me, you, you guys will take some or all of the costs of, of something, right? Yes, we do cover all operational costs in terms mm-hmm. of the republication uh, from getting registration numbers or registration fees from the manpower we create cover design actually how Nicholas became mm-hmm. Santa Claus the first cover design I'm not saying I don't want to bad mouth but it's kind of uh, like boring mm-hmm. but right now what we did our cover design our expert graphic designer did an amazing job mm-hmm. to transform how Nicholas became Santa Claus oh yes so, I love like, the cover yeah there's a yeah <laughs> right uh, you can attest to that. Um, so that is why uh, we really believe and to show our commitment. So we, we, you know, we cover the cost for the republication. And we also, uh, there are marketing campaigns that we collaborate. Uh, we, you know, we partner with them to make sure that, you know, uh, it's a long-term project. And right. we'll be there along the way. I, I wanted to make sure that the so, the listeners out there, are aware that uh, Ewing Publishing Company is a hybrid company. Yeah. So they're mm-hmm. somewhere between uh, the the self publishing and the traditional publishing company. So there are a lot so of better. Act like a literary agent. Yes. Act yes. Like yes. A literary agent. Mm-hmm. 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 And I I can but definitely. There's a different, but there's a difference. Yes. There's a difference between a literary agent or literary agency and a hybrid publishing company. So. Um, do you want me to explain that? Or? Yes, please. Because yes, I think there are a lot of people yeah. out there that that uh, have been told they need a literary agent and well, with your company. Yeah. That might not necessarily be so, but so go on. Sure. Uh, a literary agent is like, it's like an agent. They don't publish books. They will tell you, oh, you need to publish your book independently. And uh, we'll, you know, you need to pay them to read the book, like I think $3 per pages, before they're going to endorse your book. You know their your book to mainstream publishing companies, and they also accept their scheme as well is commission based. However, with us, we are hybrid. We do endorse books to mainstream publishing companies, and we also publish books, mm-hmm. and we also help our authors to market their books. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's a, that's a simple uh, term or a simple explanation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and 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 you you help them to because uh, we talked we've talked in the podcast about movies and such, and you guys have helped them also to um, develop uh, a script, a movie script for yes. uh, their book, and to get it registered with the Writers Guild uh, East, correct? So that's also something that you guys yes. uh, can offer uh, our readers. So uh, I guess a question uh, would be, how would uh, one of our new readers, if they were interested in getting into and to you know, publishing their book. What would you advise that their first step might be? Oh yeah, uh, first they need to choose a you know a publishing company that will help them mm-hmm. along the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, if they've found a publishing company, I and mean, we're not. I don't want to market our company. They can choose. They do have a freedom to choose any of the publishing or hybrid publishing companies out there, or literary agent, as long as first um they have a good track record yeah right. uh, second you know they will be with them along the way mm-hmm. not just after they get their money then they will just leave the author hanging yeah so once they have found uh once they have found a a, a company next is how are we going to create or generate sales and reviews because this is the most important thing that the traditional publishing companies will act how, what's your sale? What's mm-hmm. your current sale? What's your record? So second is to choose a marketing campaign that is suitable or like strategically plan what's the marketing campaign that you're going to do for the book mm-hmm. because you can – there's a lot of marketing campaigns that they're going to offer you. So – and then you as an author, you need to be like um, – uh, to choose really the, the perfect avenue for your book to – be out there and to generate sales and uh, reviews as well. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, do not spend too much on this and this and right. not getting any results. You know, what? and speaking of spending, one of the things I really enjoy about you, Ernie, is that you 
make sure that uh, you know my parents, uh, <laughs> the authors, are not spending you know randomly they're not just throwing out chunks of change you're actively trying to save the money and say look yeah i don't put a lot of money into this right now don't spend money on this we let's make sure we're focused on this project so it's just there's there's not you know money going every which way you know uh, I, 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 really, I really appreciate that i think we can feel a kind of an organized strategy absolutely you know and i, I think the strategies mm -hmm. uh you know one thing i tell you what i like i like that <clears throat> if uh, they make money because I make money. If I make money, they're going to make money. I like that actually, because that's that, yeah. that people will work for you when when both of you get something out of it. Right. So absolutely. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I like it's about win. yes, the other thing I like about your company, the Ewings, is that you take into consideration our limitations mm -hmm. as far as our finances and without pressuring us mm -hmm. to go beyond our means right mm -hmm. right but uh, well i don't want to point a gun at you like hey sandra <laughs> hey daryl you need to pay this right now no i'm not working right. at that type of people right <laughs> yes so uh mm -hmm. you know it's, it's still it's it's a it's a partnership yes and yes. uh I don't want you like to 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 uh, be in debt just to pay this, or like uh, look really shell out all of your savings because of this. No, we'll do this. It's a long term project, and uh, though it's a slow progress, but it's still a progress, and we'll be there. Uh, so, uh, Ernie, uh, uh, what? Uh, moving aside from the business, well, what's your What's your favorite part about working um, and this relationship that you developed with uh, Sandra and Daryl? Well, um, I really like to talk to you. Like that's that's the reason why we do have we, we already built a Friday talk or uh, a trip conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know I also have one every Monday. Uh huh. Uh, but. You know, that is, it's a it's a people business, yeah. and I really like to talk to people. Uh, at the same time, uh, I don't want to like uh, just. Like, I, I want to be honest with them, and uh, to be to make sure that they trust us, they trust me. Connection, uh, communication, and that's yes. the most important mm -hmm. thing. Right. I like to communicate to make sure that I got their trust from the beginning. If you can remember, just give me your. 10 or two, two five percent trust and i'll make it 100 over time and i hope uh, i'm at 100 already <laughs> well you're there <laughs> yep and and you know i'm it's it's so great that we have this relationship with you and i i i, I love to keep these conversations going and uh you know hearing your thoughts about the book and the you know so the sort of the media community all together uh you know, because you've done a, a fabulous job uh with uh managing uh sandra and daryl uh and, and, you know, and I started out skeptical, too, watching you sort of work with uh, them and sort of wondering, okay, what, what's this guy going to do? But, I mean, you've done a, a fantastic job. Uh, and um, like, please continue doing it. because right. uh, <laughs> Keep doing it. Yeah, keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and not just, to, not just to Sandra and Daryl, but also um, to other authors. I, I want to help them. I want to get them from you know spending thousands of dollars and no result uh to transforming to you know to transition their their manuscript and see like there's already a a, a uh they can what they envision for the book it will be into reality someday somehow yeah, and it's, that's, that's just such an awesome uh, responsibility and a, and a task. You know, I was just looking at a statistic yesterday where uh, last year over a million books were published. You know, and uh, yeah, exactly. it, it was it was just awesome. <laughs> yeah, and it, it's, it's amazing. To, to, it's, it's wonderful to stand out with this uh, sea of books with the, the Eric Hoffer nomination and, you know, Picking up, yeah. uh, you know, being uh, seen again at the at the ALA, and uh, I, I think that uh, I think that the the uh, hard work is is paying off. 
Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, if, if you're interested in seeing the, the fruits of their labor collectively with Ernie and uh, Sandra and Daryl and their creativity, please feel free to check out our Facebook page at Troop Books. You can check out our website at Troop Books. That's T-R-O-U-P-E dot com. You can check out our Instagram, our TikTok, uh, our Twitter, and even our threads at uh, Troop Books. And we'll talk to you next time on Conversations with the Authors. Thank you.